Definitely a cool thing about kayaking is that it enables you to try all these spots where it's too shallow for a boat, even a small John boat. You can get out there and uh, look around in these shallow areas. The advantage to going through these really shallow areas is that you might come across some spots where the water is warmer. And in the winter time, uh, it's advantageous for fish to hang out there. Uh, it offers protection and there's probably going to be a lot of little bait fish back there and you might find yourself a snook or a redfish there too. Let's see what's going on behind these trees over here. Yeah, buddy. You know, although the water was only a few inches deep here, there were lots of big fish. Mullet, redfish, sheep's head. All the fish seemed to be swimming back towards this little hole in the trees. I hung out just outside that spot for quite a while, hoping that a fish would take my shrimp. I knew they were here, and the only way out was past me. So I sat here and I waited. And I offered up some live shrimp. And I waited. And I waited some more. And I didn't see the fish coming past me. So slowly but surely, I inched my way up towards that hole in the trees. I thought for sure they'd come shooting out, you know, and I'd find that the whole time they had been sitting there. But what I found instead was something way different. This little hole in the trees was absolutely fantastic. My mind raced with the idea of pulling a two-foot redfish out from, from underneath this mangrove canopy. It really was a magical place. Look at that. <laughs> I found a snook factory. This one's gonna grow up with a torn lip. But he'll grow up. Well, that wasn't the redfish I was after. <laughs> but this certainly was a very cool spot. And the further back I went, the more I realized that it didn't end. This hole in the tree was very, very deep. It actually opened up at some point. It was still very shallow, but there were deep pockets here and there. Unfortunately, the tide was going out and I didn't really have time to check this area out thoroughly. So I made my way back the way I had come. And I made a promise to myself that I'd come back to this spot someday.
All in all, it was a pretty good day of fishing. Maybe not the best day of catching. But perhaps somebody out there can uh, try this for themselves. See if they can pull a big redfish out from behind the trees or a big snook. I'd say give it a shot. Look for those shallow areas where the water is warm. And you might just catch a fish.